So now you want to know how to look around your game. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender Game Engine uh, FPS tutorial series. Hey guys, uh, so we're gonna be getting started with moving the camera around today in this uh, in this episode. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna waste no time with the cube selected. This is very simple, actually. It took me a long time to come up with a really good method for this. Um, but we're gonna select with the cube. We're going to add in a sensor beneath all of our keyboard sensors. If you did not get a chance to look at how we created our character motion in the last episode, go and check that out. I'll put a card up on the screen right now. I'm going to add in a mouse sensor and an actuator of mouse. So mouse on both of the sensor and the actuator. They look a bit different. But uh, that's all right, because we're going to change the sensor's mouse to movement, and we're going to change the actuator's mouse mode to look. Um, and now we get a bit, a bit more options. We're going to hook these both up with the, uh, with the little line there. We're going to downsize that and, and we're also going to downsize the mouse as well. Um, with this, um, this is pretty much saying, hey, if we look in both the X, which is this way, which is this way, and the Y, which is this way, um, we're going to be looking in both these directions, and we need to change the sensitivity, the, th the threshold, and all that, blah, blah. We don't need to worry about any of this. The only thing you need to do is you need to turn off this Y axis. So you need to get rid of that. And now with our camera selected, we can move on over. And uh, we can add in a sensor of mouse and an actuator of mouse, just like we did for the cube. And we'll change this to movement, just like we did for the cube. We'll hook these both up. I downsize that and change the mode to look just like we did before but now instead of disabling y we're going to disable x so now our camera moves uh up and down like uh like this well actually our camera moves uh side to side our camera moves like this and then our cube is making our camera move like this as well so now we have the controls for both of these um so if i go ahead and downsize both of these you should be able to see that uh, if I do this in uh, in third person, you won't be able to see much. You can see we move side to side, but that's not really good enough. So in our camera's view, you can see, if I go ahead and play this, you should be able to see that now we can move and look all different directions. And you can see, we can, if we look down, we can actually see the cube there. And it doesn't actually start doing this weird rotation thing. Because if we were to go ahead and um, and put the, the mouse actuator on just the camera. So if I get rid of this... Um, this actuator and set up on the cube and we put both of these for the x and the y axis on um actually if i just if i just enable both of them on the camera instead and then we go ahead and take a look at this you should be able to see that we have this really weird thing where it doesn't rotate properly and now we can't actually move correctly because i'm hitting w right now but i'm going backwards because it doesn't actually recognize that i'm going backwards when i'm looking in that direction because it's not taking the cubes um, direction it's taking the cubes direction so it's only going WASD of where the cube is going so D is gonna go to the right no matter what because the cube is not rotating only the camera is so by rotating by making by disabling the x-axis on the camera and re-adding back in the um, the cubes actuators and making the cube rotate with the camera then we can actually rotate and then if I hit W, if I'm like, if I spin 180 degrees around and hit W, we will go forward depending on the camera's location instead of the cube's location, if that just made sense. Hopefully it did. Um, so that's the simplest way I can come up to do this. Um, if you want to change how fast the camera moves, because it is pretty fast, I'm going to go to 1.7 because I like the way that looks, I think. I think that was the number I had before. Um, on both of these, make sure you change both of the sensitivities or else you have some weird stuff going on. If I hit play. Now the camera moves much better. I may even go slower than that. I like a, a pretty slow, low sensitivity. So I might go with uh, 1.5. Ah, that's a bit better. I like that. So that is pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, FPS camera motion tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, but until then, bye.